Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Size Gardening. So today we are going to up pot some of our seedlings that you guys, if you remember from the last video, we were starting indoors. And now it's time for some of these to go and get their own little containers. I've also got tons of zinnias that we need to up pot as well. So you can see I did multiple seeds in some of these cells and they germinated quite well, but we need to separate some of those. I've got lettuce, I've got arugula, and then I've got some additional stuff that I started like watermelons and squash that I actually don't need in my garden anymore, but I wanna up pot for some of my friends that I wanna share this with. First rule of thumb when up potting is do it towards the end of the day when there's not so much sun or when like today you have a overcast day where the sun is not completely beating on your transplants once you transfer them out. Now I do wanna point out that you wanna up pot your seedlings when they have their true leaves. And what I mean by that is right here, these germinated, right? But they only have their initial leaves. Whereas these tomatoes here, you see they have their initial leaves plus true leaves coming in. Next, I've got some really good compost here that we're gonna use to put into the new containers that they're gonna go in. And to this, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a tad, just to, again, give them something while they're growing in here until they go in the ground. A slow release fertilizer. This is an organic fertilizer for tomatoes and vegetables here. And this is just gonna help out, again, because they're not directly in the ground or in a raised bed, they need all the extra boost that we can give them to get them started. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do here, I'm gonna do one of my Martin's Roma tomato. Uh, so you can see I had three seeds in here, three seeds germinated, but I'm going to leave one in here to grow and the other one I'm just going to go ahead and uproot and I'm going to go ahead and put it into one of my new pots that it's going to go, fill it up with dirt and then we'll label it as a Roma tomato. That one's ready to go. do this again here if you can see between these two Martin's Roma tomatoes I've got an itty bitty one and a bigger one so I'm going to take the bigger one and same thing I'm going to fill my new container up with some dirt pop in the new seedling that's ready to be up potted press down on that dirt and there you have it now, after you do this, again, you don't want to keep them in direct sun. Uh, put them somewhere cooler here again. I have an overcast, so the sun's going up and down. So I'm going to put them in my greenhouse um, in the shade. But what you also want to do is you want to go ahead and water these. Water them thoroughly so that they can get that little boost of, of drink right as they were transported into a new container. We're going to go ahead and do this with some squash as well. So I've got some zucchini bush right here. So I'm just gonna, this is actually with a little different style of container here. This is the seed starter one. So I'm gonna push my finger down at the bottom, pop it up, and then pull the plug out here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take, same thing, some dirt. You'll see the roots right there are beautiful on this squash. And I'm gonna fill this up. and then stick the tag in here, ready to go. Okay, here we are with the plants that we went ahead and transported into a bigger size container. So you can see I've labeled all of them, or if I didn't want to waste labels, what I did is I lined them up in a single straight row here, labeled one of them so I would know what the remaining of them are. Um, I moved them, the sun actually did come out now, so I moved them into the shade because the last thing you want to do you want to give them a good little watering I know that this soil is already wet but since I transported them and was doing it for all of them the Sun came out so dried up a little bit of the dirt so I'm just watering them once more leaving them here in the shade and uh, we'll check back in a couple of weeks so you can see how they're progressing along thanks for tuning I'll see you next time here at Texas size garden